he's got detect magic take poison so okay maybe not so useless what else can you do don't do it just show me you might have to save it for the orcs i can drink really quickly not show me tell me i mean i can drink really quickly if i had a battle stein oh that's not useful at all it is if you put potions in it. I'm no hedge wizard. I don't make uh, potions. That's still lady work. I can make myself a potion if I have the right ingredients. Okay. That will make me strong or fast or tough, as the case may be. Uh, I prefer strength. Um, I can also... I'm very good at punching. Um, I can cast multiple spells, you know. Okay. I can, rem I can remove fear, protect you from evil. Hmm. I can have the inspiration of the gods to smite the foes of that which is good and free. I think he's scared lots. That's why he's got that spell. So Jesus, he's going to be the worst. I also think he thinks he's going to be our cook or something. <laughs> Just sit back and camp and eat all day. Prefer brewer? <laughs> no, no, no. You must enjoy yourself and have libations as you, one does their work. Go out, fight evil in the day, at night, drink, and enjoy oneself. Some of the lesser priests just stay in the camp and do menial things, and then pretend they're all important when it comes time for a ceremony. Just warning you, everyone's got to contribute. I, I can. I'm also very good at throwing. Gidzorig is like not sure just not sure he's going to pick up two stones he's going to hand one to Gidzorig okay okay we're going to we're going to take the poison the poison like head yep is the target Whoever can be closer, hmm? Right. You go first. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, we are going to... He says a quick prayer to himself. Um... Uh... uh is it once per day? No, we're not going to use that once per day. That's too much. That's right. Okay, he's going to throw the stone. Uh, he has a throne of plus eight without spells. Ugh, AC 12. Okay, Ganzarig hops onto the horse. <laughs> plus one from above for mounted. <laughs> um... It's a stone, so it's a non... Or are we just doing range attacks? That... It's just range attack, okay. yeah. If we had an alchemist in the mix, we actually had to throw bomb. Yeah, Ganzorig's range is plus eight, but with the uh, the horse from above, plus nine. 28. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> okay. The best two out of three. <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll go. He goes again, 16. 11. Oh. Not as good as last time, but... Uh, oh, you said best two out of three. I guess that's it. <laughs> Kids are going to hop down from the horse. It's the sand that's stuck between the butt cheeks. <laughs> it's throwing off the aim. <laughs> that's just Grumbar. Hey, Grumbar, he's gritty. Gets everywhere. Don't like the guy. Don't eat me. <laughs> He's talking to the ground. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, I've heard that happening. <laughs> Gezer shuts his eyes for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so the guy can't throw. <laughs> <laughs> for the evening that's so weird the coven of one has a strange connection to genzorig through karen weird 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 magic <laughs> magic's weird twist of fate uh all right no nothing bothers you in the night you're able to make your way till like a, wait like get up very early which is when you want to travel previously Okay, so now we're a day away. If we travel, we'll arrive sometime in the afternoon. It'll be late afternoon because you're trying to cut a day off by force marching. It'll be pretty late in the day. Yeah, we force march two two hours, right? Yeah. yeah. At this point, I think Genzorig wants to make sure that there are no orc, orc tracks. Like three days away, whatever has happened to the village has happened. Like yep. if the orcs regrouped and yeah, you're not back, getting back and it's you're not getting it's back already back. it's already done, so um, he's gonna check for orc tracks as we're going. Okay, uh, I think there's a penalty for moving. Uh, it depends on how fast you move. Tracking at speeds what minus five. At speed is yeah five d plus five dc whatever. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll try to track at speed. Well, we don't want to slow ourselves down, but uh, and these are looking for tracks. So plus twelve minus five. Uh, twelve with the penalty. Okay, uh, twelve with the penalty. Um, you don't uh, after this much time you don't like it's not obvious when you come across tracks or not um you do make your way to the village the village is in the midst of um like moving okay so here i will copy i'll go to the village to okay ganzorg will do that uh that whistle that Marty can't do, where you stick your fingers in your mouth and whistle, like, yep. <laughs> just to let them know That's that super these... high pitch one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> just end up drooling and chewing on your fingers. Uh, you'll give a whistle to warn, like, that he's coming back. Okay. You, on your way back, you do you do see they've got uh, uh, tents taken down, or the yurts yurts pulled down. Uh, there are horses, uh, a couple of horses remaining um, that look like they are carrying stuff, but it's going to be difficult moving to, like, another location. Okay, again, Zerg's going to hand the reins to Corinne. Just wait here. I'll explain to them who you are. All right. As best as I can. I am Corinne Obon. I am the fight for freedom and the gate slavery. Um, and I fight for pants. Look what I found. <laughs> the giant that fell from the sky. The spirit horse uh, dragged me there. I think he's some sort of wannabe champion of Cord. He's strong and he's a bit stupid, but he, apparently he can make beer. <laughs> uh, the camp is... Um, somewhat in disarray in terms of there 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 are people who are mourning they did have losses uh but based off of your sort of like your quick count um you don't see your uncle you don't see your father the um the your this group is is it had their like the males have at least had their numbers cut in half where's dagan jaka <sighs> and why are we all standing around quick Leave everything that we don't need. Let's go. We leave in an hour. Like he's just gonna. Yep. Whether the people listen to him, charisma eight, he's he's just gonna scold them. We are. We are gathering our things. We do not want to leave without you. Um. Well, 
trying to find the... Did I? There. Uh, Kenzrigi <clears throat> comes out. Um, they, they basically collapse the... They have collapsed the tents. Your father did not return. Neither did your uncle. Okay. Where are we going to head? Like, is there a place where we had planned if things got bad we go is yeah you're you're basically going uh, across like the mountain range and around you're basically trying to put the forest of the um, horse bones forest between yourself and the orcs that are pursuing okay so you guys start heading that way i'll go with um knucklehead over there and go see if we could find uh my father and did Dagan die? Or sorry, Jaka die? The uncle? The guy who was in the troop? Or They're not certain. He was taken away with, with some of that troop. They're uncertain if he died. So my, fa- my father's out there somewhere. Your father's out there somewhere. And he's probably worth saving. He was a better archer than you at that in the last fight. And you're pretty good. <laughs> Did he drop his bow? <laughs> <laughs> He went up. I think he went. I saw him. He kind of went off in the dark to go hunt the yak guy. Your father did not return. Well, I can track. God's led me to this guy. He didn't. He You're... didn't have pants. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> he looks strange. He's not from around here. Um, no, he is not. His spirit, Acadia, has shown me is free, though. And he does not have evil in his heart. He wants to help. He doesn't like orcs. I think he could swing something big. He's going to look around the battlefield. I'm Maybe it's a okay. pile of weapons, try to find something for Karen to wield. Uh, the biggest weapon that your tribe has is... Uh, uh, Tetsubo? That, well, Gambu's Tetsubo. Here. He dropped it? My uncle's, this is Gambu's Tetsubo. He's like... Better than a club. See? The metal bits. Ah. Don't swing that at anyone you don't mean to swing it at. (laughs) Times four crits. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, If somebody could bring a pair of pants... (laughs) Tired of looking at this guy's snake. <laughs> hey, uh, you're... <laughs> Kenzurig's cracking joke. It's probably not a jokey affair right now, but, but yep. Kenzurig's uh, been... Grandmother... He's, a little, he's a little delirious because they've been living off fucking yeah. lizards and cactus juice. So. so some spells are cast upon you. Uh, Corinne is given... It, it's not pants so much as he's given a set of like it's women's i think it's women's robes yep but with one less wrap going around to give enough to sort of to, to flesh them out he's somewhat brightly colored it's fine you know uh, uh the people are hesitant but they they appreciate the that he has come we will do a roll just because Okay, um, again, Zerg is going to go check on his brother. Okay. Uh, just going to... Can Karen play nice with... He's kind of klutzy and it doesn't um, describe what he wants very well and there's a language barrier. Not everybody here speaks flotsam. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Uh, Linga Flotsam. Um, so when he was trying to like piece together the bits to get alchemist equipment together, it's kind of like going, "Oh, look at the expensive stuff! I'm going to start pinching little pieces of your spices and herbs and shit." <laughs> um, Genzer yeah. will just say, "Let him, let him have it." Like he's a, okay, they, a potion sorcerer. Okay, it doesn't. They. they they let him have it. They're a little confused. Like, they're not happy about it, um, so to speak. Uh, you check on your brother. Uh, your brother is no longer wounded. Um, well, he stuck your gut back, guts back in. Good. 
Uh, uh, Bjork shouldn't cut your winky off. It's an important winky. It's the most important winky. You got to no. get these people out of here. Everyone's moving way too slow. The orcs are going to move faster than we will. Get moving. Like, don't bother packing all the tents. You don't need them all. This is true. Okay. <laughs> Swat upside the head. <laughs> <laughs> then do something. Grandfather. You're a right bastard, you know that. <laughs> Grandfather. You guys are moving way too slow. You should already be on the road. You shouldn't have waited for me. You knew I was on horseback. Holding out hope that you'd come. Go. I'm going to go look for my father. Okay. Uh, the people start bustling a little further. Yep. They get going a little faster. You get a hot Genzorg, meal. Genzorg, like an asshole, is going to ride around with a little horse whip. And just giving everyone like little little fucking taps if they've got too much shit. Like if they're trying to carry too much shit, he's he's gonna like quite literally we get them. Light. We travel light. Get to where you're going. Uh, grandma can make water. Why, like you only need yep. one water jug. You don't need ten. Don't need to collapse all the tents. In fact, Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher. You have a. Tent in fact, the more clothes. tents we leave yep. up, the more the orcs are gonna think that you're still we, here. That we're still here. Uh, the other thing that they do what do bring... we what do we do with the bodies uh, the the bodies usually they're piled under stone okay. they get left for the animals like it's grandfather I got a, a way for those who have fallen to guard us everyone start propping up the people that we have lost they're going to guard us. If, they, if we can make the orcs hesitate, it'll buy us some time. Time that we've lost by moving so damn slow. <laughs> so we're going to prop up the dead people to make it look like they're on guard and shit. Okay. And that the, yep. the, the village is still occupied. Uh, he, will okay. get, he will get his brother and his sister to help him. Uh... And we can ask the gods for forgiveness later. There's nothing to forgive. Shut up, you. <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah, you collect up the uh, the fallen. Uh, let me... Are you only doing this with the fallen of uh, your tribe, or are you doing this with just the fallen in general? Um, Genzorig is going to the orcs know fear as in can they be afraid yeah in his opinion he had an orc bow he's third level so i assume this is not the first time we we no fought you've, orcs. you've fought orcs before um well sticking had... their heads on pikes or spears or whatever make them matter or will it make them hesitant and how bad did the haboob hit their fourth like like a, so, a bunch of dead orcs all around. The or? the, the haboob did hit the hit like well, they're somewhat buried in sand. Like people didn't dig them up, but part of what was the delay here was digging everything out from the haboob. Mm. Um, uh, you you were able to get out with the horse that could move very quickly and easily through the haboob. <laughs> um, no, they've been they've been digging themselves out of the, of the sands. Which, okay, which digging up all the orcs cor orc corpses are are probably not what we want to do right now. I think it's just any of the dead, which I'm assuming we they cared about if they've been slow over the last three days. Uh, Corinne, on the other hand, will dig up a orc corpse, pull off some armor, pull off a knife. You know, yeah, start to... yeah. yeah. Um, Falchions. I mean, we're all warriors. <laughs> Is there is there any non master wear gear that we can arm ourselves with? Falchions, uh, they'd be uh, shitty orc plate. Um, yeah, which I'm not, inter I'm not interested in that. Um, there would be there's bows if people were looking for bows. 
No, but we'll top up arrows. Uh, I also, okay. we adjusted our sheets a little bit. We've got three weapon slots. Uh, they're, they're, um, the way our action economy for gear is, there are three weapon slots. And you can have a left hand and right hand slot. You can also put a stack of throwing weapons in one of those slots. Ammunition slots can be used for ammunition and throw we thrown weapons. But in order to access that slot for a thrown weapon, you have to spend the action to basically put the pointer at the slot. And then you can freely use that stack until it's gone. Yeah. Like you don't have to draw an attack. You could just so but the it's stacks are the stacks are small. They're 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 like for javelins, I think it's a stack of three. Three. Yeah. Like like you you can use those and then you're done. So um yep depending if you use up your weapon slots or not. And then readied items you could just use. And if you wanted to carry lots of extra ammo, ammo goes in readied. So ammo goes in ammo or readied, and then thrown goes in weapons or, or the thrown ammo. Like there's kind of an overlap between the slots is where I landed uh, cool. with, with this. So you can you can be Rambone <laughs> and have all the, all the things on you, uh, but it's gonna, you're gonna, like there's trade-offs to be, to be made. Um, yeah, Karen is able to find a master chain shirt, okay, um, and a the javelins. Uh, his a, starting gear, basically. Basically, he, he finds his starting gear amongst the battlefield. All right, any um, anything masterwork? A couple like, of potions. Anything masterwork, uh, like that, is on top of our starting gear. Uh, yes, uh, there is a there are two masterwork lances. You know. I don't have the feet for that, but the weapon itself provides one times like it's times two instead of times three. It's going to be an extra weapon carried, so two, two of them, huh? Yep. Masterwork. Yep. We're going to give one to Karen because I think we're going to try to. Well, he doesn't need a horse. He moves as fast. Quick boy, he's quick. <laughs> And Zurich will carry them both. They'll be on his horse, but um, they're not in an active slot. But Okay. Now, I did break the seal. I'll be right back. Yep. Um, but there's uh, uh, also the man catchers, if you're interested. I think the man catchers will be used to prop everyone up. Ah. Hmm. I know Ganzerg has been making fun of Karen a little bit, but that's just because he appeared out of nowhere naked. <clears throat> Karen's build is actually pretty fun. Uh, let's see. There's Karen's build. And he has a fun feat called Blade and Tankard style. Which is like two weapon fighting, except you can use your main hand to attack. And while you're attacking, I think on your, um, instead of doing a second attack, you can drink a potion or drink something out of the tankard. Uh, so we, does he find a tankard? Like, can we find him a good... A good Mongolian uh, ivory uh, um, stein of some sort. <laughs> sure, there's a horn stein. Cool. Correct. Uh, you should you should name the the Tetsubo after uh, yes, for example. Um, uh, one hundred percent. It is Gambu Jaka Jaka Gambu's Tetsubo. And we'll say that the tankard's made out of a woolly rhino's horn. Cool. Like one of those Pleistocene era. Yep. Yeah. Fuzzy rhinoceroses. Rhinoceri. <laughs> <coughs> woolly rhino horn, basswork battle tankard. Um, he's taking it. 
he's obviously a warrior, Ganzorg, in terms of he's putting weapons and gear on him in a way that's not like like he knows like he understands ready slots and being you know putting stuff in the correct spots. Yep. He's also picking some slightly strange material. Like he's like really happy with this cup, but it was like your you know your uncle's cup at the time. You bought what you needed. More than enough to to save your family. Thank you. I know why I'm here. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I know why I'm here. Every, there's like crickets. <laughs> Katie, guide my people to safety. Guide them all the way to that jade wall of theirs if it need be. We're going to use the man catchers to prop up the bodies. Okay, cool. Uh, your great grandfather is put on one of the horses the other horse is dragging a like a like a a sled a sled yes uh the the two stick kind sled i'm trying to forget the name of it um a the, sleigh? yeah uh it's not it's not a sleigh there's a, there's a name for it when you just drag two sticks behind an animal it's as a put like where you attach the sticks to like the back of the animal litter litter that might be the right one um and it's got the children on it and pretty much everything else is being carried and the men are making haste south and west okay uh, there's some quick goodbyes particularly to like his mother and sister okay uh your mother <clears throat> your grandmother is going to give Isuge oh. a Do you mean gives her ring? Yes, I, I, I do. <laughs> gives, your, gives, gives your brother a ring. Here you go. Oh. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you ran away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went to go find the border. <laughs> uh, that looks kind of like the ringman. Um, the uh, no it gives uh, Ganzorig a um, a ring. Okay, it has the Tombator family crest on it. Nice. It is also minorly enchanted. That's always nice. <clears throat> It is a ring of feather falling. Oh, sweet. Katie will protect you. Even from Grumba. <laughs> We're going to dive off some cliffs with this thing. I've heard the stories. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. That's how you did that thing that one time, didn't you? <laughs> you floated down in front of everyone. Everyone went ooh and ah. Okay. Good luck, Gensorik. May Katie be with you. As long as I draw breath. Okay. Be. He's Care not like it. hugging everyone or whatever. He's on his horse. Yep. He's, pr he's proud. He's trying to be proud, and and he's also trying to shoo them off. So the uh, caravan heads south and west, despite the fact that it's map east, whatever. Like it's right off the map. As they're away and they're out of earshot, that's when you know, like he sniffs back a few tears or whatever. Uh, doesn't know if he's gonna. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of fear, striking off with some person he just met to go into the darkness to fight orc hordes <laughs> uh, okay he puts on the ring should i be saying something or is no, no no you did enough <laughs> okay <laughs> i think you scared everyone it's okay you're you're kind of big they think you're one of the ring people what are ring people no they got some sort of magical ring like a big thing that they stepped between worlds on. They didn't come by way of tree. They came by way of ring. 
We have lots to talk about. I just told you. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Does that make me by way of sky or by statue? Some trickster god might have just stole your clothes and left you here. <laughs> Maybe the egg did it. You're like driftwood. I, that's... We're going to put the... Uh, the gnome de guerre is now driftwood. Because that's pretty good freaking war name. <laughs> Carries a big stick. Carries a big stick. Driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> it's all juiced up on his fucking. <laughs> 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 I shared the, with the, with the chat your build, and it's pretty like Rorosaur. Um, okay. Um, yeah, you drink a mutagen, and rage is a free action. You've got plus eight to your strength. <laughs> Kazar doesn't know yet. He's just yeah. he, like. He's only slowly learning about <laughs> Karen's abilities. Well, there was the whole, like, well, what can you do? I, I need a holy symbol. <laughs> okay, now I can do the same thing you can do. <laughs> We're gonna... Holy fuck. Tracks in the... After the Haboob, I think there's probably a lot of disturbed uh, sand. Yep. Okay. Um, the... Um, are you... The, the uh, tracks appear to be going in two general directions. Most of it is heading northwest, um, but it splits off in sort of two different groups. Are these all orc tracks, or do I find my father's tracks? Uh, give me a survival check, because distinguishing between orc and human is going to be difficult. Yep. However, there was a giant pig that is, I think, the main... Uh, there was no, the, a giant, the, the yak. There's a yak. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, Grumbar. <laughs> Screw it. Fuck you, fuck you, Grumbar. <laughs> fuck you, Grumbar. <laughs> it's all confusing. Don't eat me. <laughs> Fucking Grumbar. He's jealous. Okay, you... you... I think it's this way. <laughs> okay. Um, you follow a set of tracks. Give me a D2. Okay. I'm going to copy the your tokens. Give me a moment. Yes. Right. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to... You know, you have to pee. Yeah, yeah. You know what I just realized? I think Genzarig has favorite terrain. <laughs> Planes. Initiative, geography, perception, style, and survival should have all been plus two tonight. <laughs> we are in the planes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is... We're about to leave the planes very shortly. <laughs> I and I'll come back for a I, I hate conditional <laughs> modifiers in role-playing games. It's just so much to remember. 
But I was thinking, oh, I gave up my, my favorite enemy. I'm like, wait a second. The archetype didn't give up favorite train. So I'm going to put that into the initiative bonus. Uh, that also changes the tracking to uh, plus uh, two. Uh, so 15. 15? Yeah. yeah. It's still not enough to distinguish which way the humans went. Um, which way particular humans went, especially. Yep. Uh, Okay. It's specifically the yak that we're trying to follow. Uh, so you are, because I think, because I think uh, my father went after the, the yak rider. Um, that's my assumption, anyways. Yes. Uh, yak yak. Don't talk about. Don't talk about. <laughs> yak. The Yakman. <laughs> David Yakman. <laughs> or is it Johnny Yakman? Uh, all right, just being silly at this point. Okay. So here, let me... Uh, uh, you follow the trail. Um, uh, sorry, I don't think I moved the map yet. You follow the trail for two days, and it leads to a small mountainish pass. Ooh. The numbers that you are reading as you get, uh, like uh, you know, on your second day after you like the the fork split, drop down significantly. Um, although you became much more convinced that the yak rider went this way, and the boar riders didn't, although the boar riders had significant losses from the haboob. What, what's what's this, what's this thing that I'm looking at here? Is this in the foreground or in the background? That's in the foreground. They're like orc uh, totems, totems or something? Yep. There are orc totems and... And we're heading into this pass? You, you're saying heading into this pass, and oh, you're like you're heading out of the oh, screen. Oh, oh, oh. This uh, <laughs> this looks like a place for an ambush if I ever saw one. <laughs> Grumbar's being a bastard here. <laughs> Look at those towers. There's there's even a bridge up there. No, we no, no, no. no, no, no. This is this isn't the way we go. We'll get smucked with rocks, and you don't need to be a good thrower to kill someone down there wandering in there. And their tracks just go right through it. Well, their tracks go right through it. Which means that they own this place. There's going to be orcs up there. We need to find a way around or try to get up there. Yeah, I think we actually need to get up there. <laughs> Looks like you're in. Climb it. Well, I'm not as good as a climber as you, but I can climb a bit. I can carry you if you need be. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring any rope. Didn't bring a climber's kit. I brought a rope. Okay. Uh, one of the orcs had a rope. Let's... And then your, your, I think it was your grandma had like a really nice belt she put on me. It was long enough to be a rope. So how are we going to do this? We go find a way around, or if we go up there, we got to fight all the orcs, and then we got to go to the other side to fight all the orcs. Hmm. There's only one way to get fourth level. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, what? <laughs> uh, let's see if we could find a way around. Um, as we were traveling, did we just the landscape? Did, does it just give way in this one spot, or are there mountain? Like... Uh, it's like a, a mountain range on either side, yep. but they're not like massive, they're like, like Appalachian y kind of. Like, um, have you been to South Dakota? No. Okay, but, so think Roadrunner style mountains where they're like really tall but very abrupt, like really worn down by wind and okay. sand. So they're not they're not massive. They're just uh, like abnormally tall. If there are orcs here, it means there's a camp, which means that they would, might have stopped here. So this might be where they're stopping. They've been traveling for days, right? After fighting and we, then getting bit by the haboob. So they're gonna rest here. Probably gonna want. Nurse their wounds. Well, they're orcs. They might 
wound their nurses. <laughs> you should never wound your nurses. No. No, you shouldn't. You should love your nurses. Okay. Um, Too much? Where's the easiest place for us to... We're going to go back and try to find a place for us to stoosh the horse. Okay. Uh, you make your way back. Um, or, or around, like somewhere off to the side where we can kay. hide the horse. So you make your way back and you loop around so not to go in sort of this like pass mm -hmm. um, to suit your horse. Um, <laughs> with at, like at the time of the day that you're doing this, nothing is sees you or yells like the yells guard. Like there's, there's no. What time of, of day is it? Uh, I assumed it was going to be early morning. Cool. So we just happened on this. Yep. Uh, all right. Let's find a, the easiest. Let's assess where we can see a good place for us to climb or quasi climb, like hike up the side. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, give like me a sheer dagger climb. You know, like no, or we, we want to kind of like come at the height from a side if we can. <clears throat> give me a, um, a survival check yes to pick the spot to and, climb on and are we in planes <laughs> uh, you are in planes okay you're, you're, like, even, you're, even though this is mountainous there's this planes. is well you're on planes touching about you're from okay. the planes looking at the mountain uh, 16 <laughs> uh okay um let me just check the climb table i'm gonna have to go through so i remember this and like add a separate row to every skill that <laughs> favorite terrain okay, is. It's, it's, it's everything it's yeah. so yeah um okay it, yeah so you it's very natural it's like very rough natural rock you you see a path that would like avoids any of like the super steep stuff steep stuff yep um karen is convinced he can do it i don't know what your bonus to climb is uh again Zorig's bonus to climb is seven with his armor on it's plus Seven. He's oh no, wait, that's my buckler. Um plus six. If nobody chases you and everything is perfect and everybody's like breathing properly, you should be able to make it. So I can take ten up the mountain, but then there's rolls. Okay, you go first, you drop an you drop a rope down, I climb <laughs> up a little bit, you go we do it like that. Slow okay. and, slow and steady is not how you win, but how you sneak but you're not very <sighs> he smiles he's currently in like bright blue and red and pink <laughs> i'm gonna create water and a patch of dirt and have him roll around <laughs> <laughs> you're dressed like it's <laughs> you're dressed like, like you're the happy priest <laughs> at a big festival and you got my grandmother's clothing on. <laughs> Getting a <the> dirt. <laughs> Great water. At least I didn't. I didn't pee in the puddle. It's tissue uh, grumbar. I know. I know. It's just you feel it'll be okay. See, he he takes a little bit of the dirt. And goes like this. There. Okay, Gretel, roll in the mud. Uh, Anything, anything to help your people. Okay. You missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his clothes are no longer providing like a penalty to stealth. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna aid him on the stealthing while he aids us on the climbing. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. All right. Um, okay. Um, so. He'll roll the stealth check, and you'll roll the climb check, and you both Sounds are good. getting plus twos. Yep. And I don't think I want to take off my armor, because there could be orcs up there. There could be orcs up there. All right, the climb is 17. Okay, that is sufficient. Stealth. 12. Okay. Uh, you are... Towards the top edge of the, and I'm going to actually draw this out. Oh, the aids and remember our aids could be more than two. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yep. So, Super no, I, I don't quite get 20, but it was close. <clears throat> okay, all right. So, I'm, I've drawn... This is just representing the top of the cliff. Top down? Okay. Uh, top down. And climbing up the edge. Karen is... We're going... We're going down. this way. Okay. Karen is cresting over the top. Um, Genzori, you flinch as you hear rock go. <laughs> Piece of stone, big lumbering lummox. Curses Grumbar. Give me his silly stones. Yep. Uh, so jealous. Okay, and there is. Basically, the sound, like the sounds that um, Karen is not able to identify. Um, There's something up there. Yeah, of uh, talking. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Initiative. Uh, what are these things? Orc warriors. These are just orc warriors. Okay. Let me do a random roll. And the race thing doesn't matter. Uh oh. Well, Gensori goes first, but then it goes Dork Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gensori, Orc Warriors, Karen. Okay, so Ganzorig, you're currently 15 feet down the side of the mountain. Karen is basically at a chin up. And Ganzorig's climbing. Yeah, you're currently climbing a rope. That, like the the sound was Karen reattaching the rope. Okay. Uh, the, DC, the DC for the climb is DC 10. 10. And I've got a plus two from Karen's aid. Mm hmm. And you climb at half your speed? Quarter, unless you... Or it's half. So swim is a quarter. Half, unless you want a fast climb. So the DC of a fast climb would be 15. Mm hmm I've got a plus 8. Oh, I'm going to try. Fast climb! Yeah. Okay, you you get up there in one move. You oh. basically jump to the top. Uh, there's a bunch of orcs. They don't have like their weapons at the ready. Um, several of them are laying down. Looks like they might be bathing in the sun. There's a couple on watch. Um, one is out looking to the east. One is actually looking in your direction. This one was is looking down the side here. This is the one that seems to have been alerted to your presence. So there's no surprise around. Okay, swift action, justice. Wait. You have two actions left. No, uh, yeah, two actions left. Uh, so swift action, judgment is done. Uh, I think we... I think we stick arrows into the nearest orc. Okay. Point blank shot, justice. That's it. And he's probably flat footed. Yes. Oh, and that one and a 21. And that one is a problem. That one, 28, probably would have hit. Yep. For 12 damage. Okay. Uh, this orc is. 
he is not as com like he's not a war ready orc. He's just a common orc, but that is still not enough to kill him outright. Um, he has a sucking chest wound. Okay, uh, Genzerg doesn't like standing at the edge of the cliff, although he's not afraid of Vikati, uh or Grumbar, because not only does he have the ring, he's also got a domain spell, which is Featherfall, so <laughs> <laughs> they kick him off fine. Uh, he thinks about it for a moment, but he's no, I, I'm good here, uh, and I will fire again at the one behind him. Ah, okay. no, uh, let's just put one down. Same, okay. same work. Uh, did nine, so four. AC seven is nice. Yeah, they they are a flat footed AC is thirteen. Oh, uh, yeah, miss. Okay. Uh, next it is the orcs. The orcs are noticing there's an issue. Um, they see one man. I you speak orcish? Yeah. The Kudian scum, get him! Oh, uh, where do you think I got this bow from? <laughs> One of them is saying there's there's a large woman climbing the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's gonna be he's gonna beat you at the marriage club. <laughs> uh, okay, this orc here with the sucking wound in his chest. Um, he is going to try to knock Karan off the mountain. This one is going to run up to Ganzorig and pull a weapon. So he comes forward and draws his blade. He didn't have a weapon ready. He is currently bleeding to death. So he ran out of actions. He doesn't actually get to attack Karen. Get up here, you lummox. Uh, this guy is uh, moves, draws, and is going to... Actually, he's going to move, draw, and slice. This guy's going to try to push you off. Because it's funny. Um, Whoa. Woo. Don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your buddy Karen. Fuck you. We don't know if it's Karen in the box. It could be anything in the box. <laughs> Uh, we said it was, yeah. <laughs> uh, funny. Gensori goes mad. He names a puppy Karen, teaches it to speak. <laughs> All right. Pretty good uh, for a handle animal at plus three. <laughs> <laughs> I bumped my head. Uh, so the uh, the first attack against Mr. Gensorig, uh AC9. No. I'm going to do better than that. The blast. Uh, no, I don't mean to mock the orc, but no. <laughs> To blast you off the cliff. Um, do which, you have which one? This guy. The one, yeah, uh, this one. He's running up to push you. Okay, so he's doing a bull rush. Uh, he's doing a bull rush. I don't have any weapons out, so he can bull rush away. Eighteen. CMD of twenty-one. Okay, you're you you don't give way. Oh, fuck, you're getting a little close there. Uh, these ones stand up. Grin, get your fat ass up here. Aren't you appreciative of my rope? Uh, yeah, the rope is good, but <laughs> they're going to hang me by it. Uh, these three stand up uh, and are going to draw their weapons. Um, the one in the back here has a horn, he hasn't drawn it yet. So this guy. Mm -hmm. this, I'm going to change his name to Horn. He's got a horn. Alright. Circling around. Alright. Karen. Uh, Karen is going to do a chin up. And that is going to provoke an AO. So I think he just has an AO, he gets attacked. AC 16. Um, so that wouldn't hit Karen normally, but he is climbing, and I don't think he maintains his dex bonus while climbing. 
So that hits him. That hits him. Um, he, he, did he drink his mutagen before climbing the hill? Uh, but if he drank his mutagen before climbing the hill, he's fine. He, yeah, he drank his mutagen. Well, we knew we were going to do something. So he drank his mutagen. It hits his skin. Okay. A little help over here. <laughs> Okay, uh, we are going to uh, five foot step. Oh, shit. We are going to rage. You did this before. <laughs> uh, and we, sorry, we rage in the very, like, the shaky focus rage of the urban, of the urban blood rager. Um, and, okay, so swift action, uh, so he's, he five foot stepped instead of using the quicken spell. Yep. Um, yeah, he, he can do that later. I think it's more important to get an attack off. Uh, he draws the Tetsubo and will beat the guy with the Tetsubo. So the Tetsubo is yeah, it's an action because he doesn't have a quick draw. Quick draw, yep. All right. So the sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the his melee is plus eight, and he's mutagening raging. So I think it's plus twelve, and then Tetsubo's mass work. Yes, and then he's got power attack as well as weapon focus hammers. I don't know if Tetsubo's in there. Yep, it's in there. Okay, so uh, that cancels each other out. Um. So, uh, so it's plus 12 with bonus damage. AC 23 against the poor man. And a Tetsubo is a D10 weapon, I think. D10. All right. So 1D10 plus his strength is currently 28. Um, so that's 9. 9 times 1.5 is 13. 13, yeah. 13 plus power attack is uh, 16. Well, 26 damage. He <laughs> kills the orc outright. It's gone and everything. <gasps> no slavery! <laughs> cool. Mental note, if I don't like someone, just call him a slave to Karen. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Get Zerg's covered in blood from the orc. <clears throat> right, uh, top of the round, Gen Zerg. Okay, I don't think we want AOOs, so I think I'm just going to five foot step there. Um, I'm going to five foot step as a swift. To keep okay. all of my actions. Hey, whom are you targeting? Uh, give me a second. I think we're going to buff further. Uh, we're going to standard action or two actions, divine favor. Cool. So divine favor with a plus one, plus one. And we're going to target this guy's injured. I think we're going to target this guy with a rapid shot. Uh, sorry, which guy? Uh, the guy next to the dead guy. Plus seven, plus one point blank shot, plus one from judgment, plus one from uh, divine favor. AC 16, AC 18. Okay, those both hit. Ooh, that's not good for him. Um, four, five. Total of 19 damage. Okay, uh, the beast is very wounded and has a the sucking sound coming from his chest. Swift cast a spell and move. So I think we're I think we're done. <clears throat> okay. Uh, all right. The orcs. Uh, the guy tried to push you off the mountain is dead. Uh, this orc is going to uh, draw and yeet a javelin at Karen. Okay. This orc is going to. I think they're going to step in uh, to attack. This one's moving forward and attacking. This guy is 
unsatcheling and uncorking his horn. He's switching up. He has a horn on his belt. He's going to start getting ready to blow it. Okay. Okay. So first off, before anybody went into melee with Karen, we've got a javelin being yeeted. Oh no. I hit the X instead of the window. One second. I've undone my mistake. All right. So... <laughs> Uh, AC 13 uh, Corinne basically is able to bat the uh, he bats the uh, javelin away with his robes um, he potentially might get to the point where he could start eating it back at someone if he wanted to uh, the orcs close in uh, the orc that Ganzorig just shot a bunch I think he wants to stay away from Big Man with Club, who makes heads disappear. Um, he's going to step in. Uh, so, Genzorig, you're flanked. Karan is also flanked. Um, so, we'll hope with the hits. Uh, two are attacking Karan. One is attacking Genzorig. Um, Genzor uh, Karan gets attacked three times. Uh, Genzorig gets attacked once. All right, so uh, plus seven. I don't think we, like there's no uh, improved on canny dodge yet. We're nowhere near that level. Uh, so the first attack on Karen, AC twenty three hits. Second attack on Karen, AC nine misses. The third attack at the penalty, AC seventeen misses. One attack on Kanzorig, AC fifteen misses. All right, Karen gets clipped. Four, three, four plus the way this base works. Three, four plus four. Ten damage. Uh, Karen. Has Masterwork Chain, which has hardness nine, so that would dent your armor. Or you could absorb with your con. Karen's got a 14 con. We'll absorb with our con. Uh, we'll absorb with our con. So. Two damage less. Nine damage. Eight damage. Okay, uh, Karen takes eight damage. Uh, and they're armed with falchions. They're armed with falchions. Bastards. <laughs> I, I could also make them great axes. It's a different kind no, of suck. It's look at orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't orcs suck? All right. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, uh, Karen. Well, now, how do we do this swift action cast a spell thingy? Uh. Expend one use of fervor. Yeah, and you've got, I don't know, three or four of them uh, per day? You've, you've got, got five of them. Five per day. You ignore somatic components and do not provoke attacks of opportunity. And you don't need a free hand. Sounds good to me. Um, okay, we will spend a fervor. Um, divine favor? Or? Oh, yeah, we're going to fervor a divine favor. Oh, I know that spell. I just did it. Did it pretty quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> the blessings of code. Shh, we're being sneaky. What? <laughs> you want to get rid of this guy? <laughs> the guy who's providing uh, flank to two people. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you will. We will chess. We'll chess maneuver. This guy doesn't know when to quit. Okay. Uh, we are all attack that guy first. We're now at plus thirteen. AC twenty kills that orc. Uh, he's then going to attack this one, who's fresh. Uh, plus eight. AC 16. D10 plus 17 damage. 26 damage. Kills that orc outright. You're pretty good with that club. Uh, and do we just swing at that guy wildly? Or do we move? With the swift actions back, that spell was swift. I think he's gonna he's gonna try to whack that guy off this the mountain. Guy? This guy, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, plus three, so, plus three, fifty-fifty. Oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, Genzorg. Genzorg's gonna swift five foot step. That puts him at a point blank shot, but horn guy needs to go down. So uh, we'll do a 
rapid shot to start. Seven. Not playing justice. AC twenty two, AC thirteen. Uh, both hit, I think. Uh, yes, both hit. Twenty damage. Okay. Uh, this is where the orc has uh, twenty three hit points before they go unconscious. So it's it's, it's has the sucking chest wound. You don't know if it'll be able to effectively blow the horn, or if blowing the horn might actually kill it. All right, that was my first attack. Uh, let me just double check spells. That beats power. We're not going to change our judgment. Okay, I'm going to spend a grit point, key grit panache, whatever they're called, um, to resolve this next attack as a touch attack. Okay. AC 23, touch. Okay. Uh, yeah, do, do more than three damage. Okay, another 12 damage from that from that arrow. Okay, there, there was a sucking sound from his chest as the arrow was synced, definitely piercing a lung. The next arrow pierced through the Adam's apple, and the horn goes clattering to the top of the mountain face. Okay, the last arrow will be against the guy who uh, is injured. Let me just tick off the grit. I already did. Okay. And this is at. Wow. This will be 1d20 plus 7 with the rapid shot penalty, minus 10. Plus one for point blank shot, plus two for the spells and things that are running. AC seven. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. The orcs. Uh, Yeah. Starting to feel like uh, Lord of the Rings here. (laughs) 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 The the orcs are paper people. (laughs) The orcs are paper people. No. A little bit. <laughs> One, um, two, three. We'll do the. <laughs> we're counting the numbers of kills. No, Karen and Genzorg are not that confident. Uh, no, that eight that eight hit points is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> the, eight, the eight damage needs to be healed at some point. Yep. All right. Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Genzorg says if that guy takes a step towards the horn, Genzorg oh, is mocking him, horn. mocking him in Orcish. Uh, I'm I'm actually rolling where the horn ended up. Because it's right on the edge of being two moves or one move. It's a D eight. Oh, oh, it's it's closer. <laughs> okay, the horn is over here. Okay, it's within one move. He picks up the horn. Cliff diving in a second here. <laughs> Cliff what now? <laughs> we'll we'll let the orcs come over here. We'll just go through the. We'll sneak around the other side. Okay. Hit and run. Um, remember, hit and run. Hit and run. Yes, hit and run. Okay. Uh, this orc is going to stab at Karen a couple times as it's. In the midst of dying, it does get uh, so a two does not hit even with the bonus, and then one d twenty plus zero does not hit. Um, okay, uh, Karen is going to blast the orc to the north into non-existence. This one, yeah. Whack! It, it disappears. <laughs> 
it actually yeets off the mountain with the, with the last. We don't cast Featherfall. <laughs> uh, Karen is then going to move, and I think we're going to. He's fast. He moves in a in a weird pattern, Ginsburg. Okay. I can For a second there, he thought he might have been drunk, like he was going off the edge of the mountain, but he looped around. I can see what you're doing. Okay, and then we're going to whap. It's not the first time you've done this, huh? No. Speed is the key! Boo! <laughs> uh, you want to grab that guy's horn when he falls? 24 damage, kills him outright. And then we'll pick up the horn. Grab the horn. I think we we gotta run. You jump first. How, how tall is the cliff? Uh, that cliff is fifty feet. You jump first. <laughs> is this some sort of test? Okay, uh, you, you you hear the sounds of orcs. Yep. He eats himself off the cliff. Okay, reaction <laughs> featherfall. Oh. That's not from the ring. That is from uh, the domain spell. So yep. we use well, yeah, because the ring doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Uh, yeah, so that's like half of it, like one quarter of his spell power for the day. I hope this ring works. <laughs> uh, we yep. picked up the horn, right? Yep. Okay. Grin has the horn and the tetsubo in his hands, and he's not plummeting to his death. Like he's nope. gliding down. Okay. Genzorik's gonna jump off the cliff and. Pray to a Katie. Katie, guide us down. Try not to make us a mess on Grumbar's skin. Okay. Karin and Ganzorig float to safety. Um, you do hear some rustling, and there's a, like a response orc horn that you hear, but it does. It's a very slow response, as you didn't actually get the full the full like there was a blast from the horn. There wasn't like communication. Yep. Um, we're gonna grab the horse. Okay. And ride in a way where they can't like we're not riding in the middle of the plane but ride in a way where we're going to get some distance and just wait for a bit okay. keeping an eye on that cliff on that cliff to see if you know a bunch of orcs show up what's right. the what's the response <laughs> so here's what i'm going to propose yep depending on whether or not we have mark next game mm -hmm. will dictate how big of a response comes Got it. Because <laughs> eventually we do get captured, I think. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> Gansori ends up in the goddamn boat and Karen in a box. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, it's super fun, dude. This is hilarious. Uh, I was worried. About... <laughs> it's, surprise... it's surprising how much you care about your pretend family <laughs> when they all have nice tokens and names. And it... it's like, oh shit. No, we're, we're, we're defending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh you, you, there was a like that encounter was like there it, it could have gone the way where it's like I am again the storm never last comes of my clan. And, yeah, I'm the last of my clan kind of thing. Yep. yep. There's a version where like people flee to the storm and we just everybody gets to roll a fort save to see if they survive the storm. <laughs> you know, there's there's a bunch of different ways that went. No, you did a really good job. The, 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 there's going to be hit and run on these orcs for a while until until we will eventually we're third level we'll eventually bite off more than we can chew and no yeah, yeah. but it's going to take a bit <laughs> it's going to take some chewing it's going to take a fucking pig troop or something <laughs> how fast do those things move 40 yep yeah yeah if we get cornered by one of those things we're we're done Yep, yep. No, it's it'll be and and how much we want to play just like uh, scout scout troop versus orcs will be whether or not Mark is here. If Mark is here, and we'll shorten this up and you, jump to another. This is this is fun, and I I don't. This is a great way to spend time. <laughs> <laughs> Vengeancing against orcs is perfect D and D fun. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's good to see what these characters can do, though. I think yes. is the spotlight. Yep. Like alone or like with two of them what can they do they can take out six orcs on a cliff all right six orcs on a cliff is two and a half rounds <laughs> three rounds yeah 
the uh, it's one of those things where there's like a magic number because orcs are a particularly annoying foe. There's a sweet spot magic number that Karen generally is hitting with the Tetsubo. To yeah, make, well, uh, these are Warrior 1 orcs, though. Like These are, these these are Warrior are, 1 orcs before these are you're not fighting the, Warrior 2 orcs. The fucking Barbarian 2 orcs that I murder-lated you guys no, <laughs> in, no. in the Grand Temple. No, no. <laughs> I, the, um, I did the whole internalize they don't have reses, so <laughs> to make certain that everything was, you know, not influenced by the, the, the challenge of Jing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Cause there I'm like, ah, you know what? If I miscalculate the CR, not a big not a big deal. Not not a big deal. Of course yep. the first couple of adventures you didn't know, but uh Yeah yeah. Ganzorg, wow. super fun. Uh I can't wait to see the other uh uh the other backstories. Cool. Yeah yeah. yeah. I I you know. Cause, <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if they're all going to be as... I, like I, This one could still go bad. And your people were captured, and now you got captured separately, and you, you've you got to find your family sold in slavery or something, you know, like... Or they're all gone, but... Um, yeah, I, I can see the other... I can see at least one more of them being quite dark. Yes. There's going to be... The way I think it's going to be is one is one is a '90s comedy, one is a Punisher film, and one is generic action movie, like buddy cop, buddy cop movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's going to be you know, this was the wholesome one. Yeah, family, family being family, family, right? Family, family. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Being from, uh, uh, we got to see the Akunians a little bit more because we didn't, we didn't get to see much of Uker's people uh, nope. in Legends, um, mostly in reference. We all went the wrong way. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. We pissed around with the ring for so long. It's neat. Like... It's neat that they came by way of Yggdrasil. Dig- that's pretty cool. Make sure you make sure you pace that uh, like story. So that yep. I can make reference to it. I, I will dump it out of the DM area and into the lore section. Karen with Tetsubo is not a bad front line for an archer. It's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> How am I going to five? No, I don't need to. Karen Squish. Yep. The, the Genz- Genzorigi's tale of the Tomobatar is now in lore. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, we need a name for tonight's game, as is tradition. We name our games after we play. Uh, I've got a... I think it's Driftwood? Driftwood is good, but also, like... Um, Haboob? Haboob. Haboob is also good. They're both solid. I like Driftwood. You like Driftwood? It's got yeah. more nautical theme? Cool. It's like Driftwood of the Sky or something, but... Chapter 1, Session 1 in the books. Today is the twenty. 20- Seventh. Awesome. For those watching on uh, watching live, thanks for uh, hanging out with us and you know exploring the beginning of a new campaign. For those watching on YouTube, which is where this video will appear, thanks for your support. And as always, we hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Peace. Have a good night. Good night.